It costs like 160 Canadian dollars. Yeah, I believe that. Exchange rate on Canadian is really bad. For anyone, who does, for anyone who doesn't know, I'm Canadian. That's probably why Canadian money was brought up there. I hope that Twitch gave you, like, a badge for that, by the way. Because that's a lot of fucking money, and I hope they gave you some kind of badge. The conversation partner. As one plate of food is replaced by the next, my daughter, Fungus McChungus, goes on and on about friendship. And that is how we salvage that mess. Are you sure I'm not bothering you, my lord? No, no, please go on. Had an interesting conversation. More learning and diplomacy for ten years. Hell yeah. We're up to 22 learning. That is fucking good. Is the second option hitting on your child? Oh, I didn't even read it, probably. <laughs> With this game? Yeah. He's the leader in subs and bit. Oh, oh, it says at the top there. Wait, is that the same person who... Oh, this is the same person who gifted like a billion subs. Holy shit, dude. You sure you want to drop that much money on my stream? Again, if you want a refund for any of this stuff, you just let me know. I keep a lot of money banked for stuff like this. Like, I, uh... I've been trying to, like, really be careful with my money, especially right now. Because, uh, you know, like, it, it's it's COVID. I gotta take care of my friends and family. So I gotta make sure I got a lot of money banked. As my guests depart... Oh, yes, we've th this is the standard one we always read at the end. Yep. Gain trait famous, re a famous reveler. We've got to the next level of partying. Increases diplomacy. Intrigue, which is good, because our intrigue is quite low. Nice. Everyone likes more. More fame. Boom. Good trait. Uh, we can ask the head of our faith for gold again, because he likes us a lot. A lot. <laughs> How much would we get? A hundred? Yeah, sure. Give me a hundred bucks. <laughs> Search for a new physician? Sure, maybe we'll find someone good this time. Have you used the barber shop? I haven't in this run, because I want to keep our guy looking historically how he did. But as we start moving into characters um, that we have created, so every character from here onwards, probably, uh, I'll probably start using it a little bit. Our character's probably the peak of the dynasty. It could be. Like, our character is pretty ridiculous. Any new Candid Post stories? No, since I moved, they've actually been delivering to my house just fine. Oh, hey, I actually might be able to deal with some of these peasant revolts. I don't want my king dealing with peasant revolts while he's already getting raided. Okay, I'm actually going to raise my personal troops for this. Do we want to lead this ourselves? We have amazing skill and our chance of getting hurt is so incredibly low that yes, I will actually uh, lead this myself. Thank you for the money, Pope. Oh, the peasants are going out onto the water. I don't know why they have the money to do that. Oh, they're coming right back? Okay. I'll march. Court physician. Either of these any good? This one's an actual physician. Which is better than mine, although her learning isn't great. And she's old as fuck. This person's a spineless villain. I don't think I'll pick them. This one's ambitious, paranoid, arbitrary. I don't want an arbitrary physician. Both fail to impress me. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's an enemy army that's about to march right on. Oh, no, they're wounded and running. Okay, good. Because I only want to fight the peasants, but now the peasants are outnumbering me, so I'm just going to back off and go home again. <laughs> It's not a fun situation. I think I'm gonna finally need to just bite the bullet and get some... get some men-at-arms. Okay, so we can only afford two different men-at-arms groups. I want onagers as one of them for sure because we need siege equipment. It would give us a big advantage. For the second one, though, I'm kind of thinking light horsemen. I find ha just having horsemen gives you a big advantage over people who don't in the skirmish phase. So I think I'm going to go Light Horseman. We do have a lot of planes and stuff, although we have a lot of forests as well, but whatever. 
Drop 115 just to purchase them, and they'll start slowly raising up. They cost us money. And also purchase the onagers. There. And they can both be unraised right now, and just slowly reinforcing. And I will disband my army, save on some money. Oh, I'm getting called to war. By one of my allies? Where is this ally? He's in Wales. He's defending against... Oh, that's a civil war, isn't it? Kinslayer, murderer, diplomat, aggressive attacker, callous, vengeful. Oh my god. Um, it's a defender, so if I decline, might be bummed out. The guy I'm defending against is stronger than me too, and I wouldn't be able to call in my own dudes, would I? If I just look at the war... When I- whenever I open this window to actually examine the war... It gets rid of the window where I could accept his thing, and I- does that just auto-decline and piss him off? I don't even know. I hope not. I can offer to join a war, I know that. Hmm. He's married to our eldest daughter, okay. Do I want to join this war? Honestly, no. I think I want... Um... Gwynedd. I'm gonna say. I kind of want them to get stronger and then ally with them. I kind of want them to just unify whales, you know? So, uh, not gonna join it. Plus, I'm not sacrificing my own troops for that. I'm trying to save a little bit of money right now and trying to build up my troops. Oh, our wife gained the trait diplomat! Ooh, that's good. That's real good. I like how we haven't even been swaying people in so long because we just don't need to. Like, come on, even the Viking enemies on our land who have been conquering us, like us. They get along with us, because we're such a tip, uh, diplomat. Dude's a fearless villain who's been conquering the North. And even he likes us. He thinks Catholicism is evil, and he likes us. You know, they think that Catholics are bastards and we need to conquer them all. But that King Alfred guy, he he's a class act, you know? Like, seriously, we are so competent and good with words, it transcends culture, language, and race in, like, early medieval. Your liege won the war. Good. I'm still in a war, though, right? We're still in a war with Sweden. Sweden is pathetically weak right now, though. Yeah, our king can handle that just fine. So what's with this guy here? Why is that hostile? It's, just, it's our king's vassal is the commander. Neutral army. Oh, it just looks evil because the red around it. Okay, it is part of Wessex though. What's our stats at now? Intrigue is at seven now. Okay. God, we have some good traits. Shame we can't. Murder. The double D in Welsh names is pronounced TH, as in this. Gotcha. So that would be... Uh, Gwyneth. Okay. Uh, fun fact. My real name and my sister's name are both uh, Welsh names. My name is Madrot and my sister is Gwyneth So just a fun fact for ya. Okay, um, how is he doing in terms of occupying that land, by the way? Is he getting that done fast? Because the land is very spread out. He's actually only fighting a small guy within the Kingdom of Sweden. Sweden itself is quite large and quite powerful. Faction created. Peasant rabble. I'll... If, if the peasant rabble's not too bad, I'll, I'll help him shut that down. Uh, looks like our 
our um, men-at-arms. Both of our men-at-arms troops, there we go. Both of our men-at-arms troops have just filled out. We have 100 light horsemen and 10 onagers. And we can up the size of them, but it will also up the cost. So right now I'm going to keep them there because they do cost money even when they're not raised. But they're much stronger than levies. Levies are like peasants getting rabbled together. Um, Men-at-arms are professional troops, so these light horsemen will just be literally running circles around um, levies, you know? A hundred light horsemen are worth quite a few levies, especially if they're being led by a competent commander and you're in good terrain and everything. And the ten onagers, that's siege equipment. It'll massively speed up sieging places in this early of Europe where walls weren't even popular yet. Oh, um, question I want to ask everybody. Let me, let me find the name of the game here. I just want to remember. Medieval Dynasty. There's a game on Steam called Medieval Dynasty. Um, I've played just a little, little bit of it yesterday, and it was pretty fun. It's early access, so it needs work. But it's kind of, um, take the idea of, like, Kingdom Come Deliverance, where it's supposed to be fairly realistic. You're playing a guy in the first person who's, like, you know, a young adult, like an 18 or a 20-year-old, who was, like, a farmer or a peasant in Europe, and it's, like, a simulator, right? That's a cool idea. It's that, but you're, like, building a village and managing a village, and it's from the first person, and you start as, like, you ran away from your village because it was set on fire. You have nothing. Build a house. Start to build an economy. You could build a village. Like, it seems like it's got a lot of potential, and it's actually not as rough around the edges as you might think for an early access game like that so far. It runs like crap. You're going to have to turn down a lot of settings and you want to limit the frame rate to like 60. And even on my beastly computer, it 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 really maxes out my my GPU pretty hard, which is like an RTX 280, by the way, or 2080. But I think that game has a lot of potential. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Maybe a lot of you guys who like Crusader Kings 3 might be interested in that game. So maybe just go keep an eye on it and see if it's something interesting. And uh, if it ends up being really good, then I might just start a streaming file of it because it supports multiple save files. So basically Fable? It is not even remotely like Fable. Okay. I forget, how do I raise my limit of men at arms? I know if I have a higher rank, I think I will be able to raise it. Originally from Alberta, still throwing shade at the province I was born in. I generally like Alberta. Okay. I would like to. I am considering finally declaring some internal wars on, like, dukes and stuff here, you know? They all like me a lot, and I want their land. I'm not gonna lie, you know? We're at the point now where I think we could safely start eating up some land within the country. And I think it's it's time that we start considering working towards the kingdom. You know, becoming the new king. I want to create a claimant one. Ah, we're technically allies with our king because of the familial tie. I can't just drop that, can I? No, I can't. I actually... Uh, yeah, I don't think we can. Okay. Okay. I can get land within the country, though. No reason why we can't start building our power a little bit. Lost the last 40 minutes or so. Anything important happened? Oh, man, we gained a lot of traits. That's what, we, what happened. Good God. We had a lot of very good events. We created gold, almost. We almost figured out the scientific method of creating gold, which was pretty crazy. Got some good money out of that. Although, we, we actually made a net loss on it, but uh, the, the lifestyle points we got way more than made up for the cost. Um, right. I think I want to start actually fabricating claims. Let's save money and fabricate claims. Okay. So... Let's go to the map modes. I want development. What's, where's the good land here? 
So the deeper red, the less developed it is. So like Hampshire is okay. Hampshire is directly held by Arkang. Okay, not him. Okay, Middlesex itself. Actually, actually, London itself is owned by someone I could declare a war on, I believe. Although, is that the wife of the king? Because she will bring in the king. Yeah. Damn. Okay, okay. How about this guy? He is weaker than me. How about our neighbor here first? He's definitely weaker than me. He does have alliances. Who'd be easy to pick on? This guy's got one alliance. Okay. I can't request a claim, can I? No. Maybe if he was more villainous, less virtuous, I could. Are any- is, do we have anyone in this country who's, like, very much known as a blasphemer? That I could get an easy claim on. Maybe this guy. No, nah, wasn't he the one I was just looking at? Oh shit, I can actually request a claim from him on the- with the Pope? Get a pressed claim too, so I get to keep it forever? I'm requesting that. Okay, Marshal, train the troops, organize the levies. Oof. Oh, we can search for another physician. Sure, do it. No reason not to. Oh. Okay, let's uh, let's move the rally point to the border. Core Physician. Ooh, look at this! Because of our high learning skill, we have an extra option. This person is widely known in scholarly circles. This person. She is a real physician. And she's higher learning than mine. She's the only one of these that's a real physician. I'm hiring her. It's only 25 bucks. You see that? We finally, finally have a real physician. That's really important. Especially considering we're going to be leading the army in a minute. Wow. If we declared war on him right now, he's got two allies. They're very weak. We'll have to call in our own allies, though. I'm declaring. Guys, we've declared our first war in this file. This is the first war that we, as the Earl of Dorset, have declared. It's time to take Wiltshire. W Wiltshire? Wiltshire? Not sure. Nordic physician? We'll be fine. We're a diplomat. It's time for war. But the war will have to be on the next stream, because we have just hit the end point. And I've got plenty of editing to do this week, because, uh... I need to get a head start on the next challenge, because the next challenge I'll actually be playing playing, rather than just editing. Wiltshire, Shire, not sure how you want me to say that, uh, is gonna be Elder Scrolls Oblivion. I control the mouse, my friend in, uh, my friend Truth, who's all the way over in, um, all the way over in Tennessee, will be controlling the keyboard, so there's gonna be input delay as well. It's going to be a mess, and it's going to be beautiful. But of course, you'll have your three Pokemon challenges come out before that. There's three Pokemon challenges in between every non-Pokemon challenge. Just for the people who showed up for that. So on the next stream, everybody, uh, we're going to be conquering our neighbor. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.